Hello and welcome to this demonstration of the OpsLogix Network Management Pack. As you can see, here I have the Operations Manager 2007 R2 console in front of me. And we already went ahead and imported the OpsLogix Network Management Pack. What you get after the import is a folder called OpsLogix. And once you expand that, you get the different views and different view folders uh, for the network categories that you'd like to monitor. In this case, I only imported the Cisco 6000 management pack. And as you can see, I get several views under that uh, folder. One of the first things you'd like to do is add your devices. As you can see, we've extended the console, uh, introduced a different UI, in our case to see the, de the devices that we have already added. In that screen in the bottom, you have a link called Discovery Wizard which essentially launches the UI to add your devices. One of the first things you'd need to ask yourself is, does my device support SNMP v1, SNMP v2, or even SNMP v3? One of our unique features of this management pack is that we do support SNMP v3. If you look, you can select the SNMP v3 version, click next and fill in all the items you need to fill in to discover your device. In this case, with SNMP v3, we need the USM user, the authentication algorithm, the password, and so on. We choose the management server. In this case, we have only one. And we set the timeout and the retries and can hit discover. We've already added devices, so I'll cancel out of this wizard. And as you can see, I've got a device called 101010101 and one with ending with seven. One of the features you can also do here in the UI is right click and change the display name. If you want to introduce not only the IP address but the name you name it in your environment, you can actually type my router or any other description and it will go ahead and change the display name. We already did so. In this case, my IP address is renamed to headquarters and the other IP address and device is called backbone. If we go to the chassis state view, you actually see that the discovery already happened. It found out that it is a Cisco switch of the type 6000 series. It found all the components like fans, sensors, interfaces, memory pools, power supplies and CPU. We can actually have a look, uh, take a look at that if we right click open diagram view. And as you can see, you can get the graphical representation and if we resize this a bit you see the category CPU fan you can expand that and see that it found two chassis fans and two power supply fans with different statuses it found things like memory pools the IO the processor memory pool it found the power supplies two redundant power supplies and the sensors found a lot of the sensors it's a big chassis and it found things like inlet temperature output temperature for module 1 module 2 and so forth one of the most important pieces is the interfaces of course in this case if we expand the warning interfaces you'll see that it found a lot of the interfaces in this case uh, gigabit gigabit ethernet 9 uh, slash 18 with a different speed and different description if we scroll back up and we right click the device and say Health Explorer, it will actually load all the monitors that we have configured for our device uh, that it monitors on for availability, uh, performance, security and all those categories. We'll give it a second to load. We'll expand uh, the view. And you'll see that we'll, we also monitor availability and performance. In performance, you get things like CPU performance, interface performance, memory performance, use memory, but also things like availability, power supply, availability, sensor, supply, availability, and so forth. What you'll see is that all the monitors have information uh, and in the final version of the management pack 
will also provide some online references and links to the knowledge base to supply even more information. Now if you look at interface av availability, you'll see that things like operational state has been uh, configured by default. But if we scroll to performance and go to interface and things like interface bandwidth usage, you can actually see that if you go to the override screen, and we'll go ahead and try and provide an override for this monitor, is that we are fully native. In this case, we can set the critical level. When should this monitor go critical? Well, at 80% usage of the total bandwidth. What are the interval seconds, SNMP port, number of retries, uh, the warning level, maybe we should edit this to 70. You can just go ahead and save this in the override pack. No different configuration outside, no connectors, all fully native in Operations Manager. We'll wait for it to save it to the database and the management pack, close the Health Explorer and close the diagram view. One of the other things we have is performance views. If you go to the general performance view for the whole device, you'll see that all the performance things uh, items are listed here. If I click this item about interface bandwidth, you'll actually see that this interface doesn't have any bandwidth at all, but that we collect it uh, and that we do so for all the interfaces plus many, many other performance views. We can also look at the individual states, things like individual CPU statuses, memory statuses, the fan states, uh, power supply, uh, and of course the state view for the interfaces. Of course we have in alert views. In this alert view you'll actually see that the gigabyte interface 1 slash 47 had over uh, exceeded its bandwidth threshold. Uh, and went to a critical state. Now if we sort it on resolution state and go ahead and look at some of the new, you see that we do things like operational down state and up state as well. One of the nice integrations you could do is work with Savision Live Maps. And in this case we went ahead and created a diagram uh, live map view. If we expand this out and close the actions pane, you'll see that we created a map which holds our two routers, the headquarter routers, which is a Cisco 6000 series, and a backbone router, which is also a Cisco 6000 series. We configure the line, which is connected from one endpoint, gigabyte Ethernet 2 slash 1, to the other one, and all the information there. And even though there might be some interfaces that are in a warning state, you'll see with this integration that we still can conclude that the line between the uh, two locations is still healthy and